Vehicles in Battlefield has always played a big part. It's part of the all-out warfare and pushing the sandbox experience to the limit. We're extremely proud of them and, and pushing forward now with the variety, the brutality, the physical vehicles, the presence on the battlefield. Many of the combat vehicles we see in military today got their start during World War I, including fighter aircraft, bombers, armored cars. But arguably, the largest innovation in armored warfare was the tank. <laughs> They were invented in this time, this place, to serve a special purpose. We want it to be big, physical, brutal beast that, that essentially dominates the battlefield and you should be scared of it. In the epicness of, of these battles, there's a new time that happened with this era. It was the fact that the sky was filled with planes. Everything from fighter planes to twin-seaters to heavy bombers roaming the skies, which was unseen up to that point. Maneuvering these planes was different than modern aircraft. They were quite light but had really powerful engines. So you can feel gravity's pull when you climb and dive. It allows us to really give the players the feeling of being up in the sky and circling around the clouds. And I think it really offers something truly unique. One thing that we're really excited about with Battlefield 1 is the introduction of the tanker and the pilot class. Those classes are unique for when you spawn into a tank or a plane, respectively. And the idea here is that if you're in a tank, you should be playing a character that is specialized to taking care of his tank, to run his tank, to be as efficient as possible with the vehicle you choose. The vehicle experience in Battlefield 1 offers great variety, big improvements in physics, part destruction that offers tactical improvements for the players. And it all combines into the sandbox experience that you can only get in Battlefield 1. <laughs> <laughs>